arrived at Newcastle International Airport and it's time for another adventure, so let's go. made it to Rome. I can't wait to explore it and see some of its amazing views, landmarks and attractions. So let's go. So yeah, this is Rome's most famous landmark, the Colosseum. It was completed in 80 AD and finished under the reign of Emperor Titus. But yeah, in its day it could hold up to 80,000 spectators. But yeah, it's a real icon of Rome. Amazing. This is Circus Maxima and it's arguably the, still the biggest stadium in the world. It used to hold up to 150,000 people watching the chariot races of ancient Rome. But it's given us goosebumps, the history here. But unbelievable.
This is the Knights of Malta Keyhole. It's very, very famous for one special view. You get to see three countries in one view. One of Italy, one of Malta, and one of Vatican City. So let's see if we can find it and get that iconic view. This is Piazza Navona and is one of the most beautiful squares in all of Europe. Spectacular. This is the famous Pantheon here in Rome, and it's one of the few remaining surviving buildings from ancient Rome. Unbelievable. This is the altar to the Fireland, or is it also known by the locals, the giant typewriter? <laughs> but yeah, what an icon of Rome. This is the Capitoline Wolf, and it's suckling two babies. Romulus and Remus from the mythical legend of the founding of Rome in 753 BC. But yeah, another hidden gem of Rome. This is the Roman Forum and it's the historic heart of the Eternal City. So this is Castel Saint Angelo and it was commissioned by Emperor Hadrian. Uh, it was used as a mausoleum for him and his family but then was used later by the popes as a fortress and castle. But yeah, what an amazing landmark of Rome. This is arguably the best view of the Tiber in Rome at Ponte del Umberto. Unbelievable. St. Peter's Basilica was completed in 1626 and is considered the greatest church in all of Christendom. But yeah, let's go into St. Peter's Basilica and uh, St. Peter's Square and have a look around. The fountain was designed by Nicholas Alvey and completed in 1762 and is arguably the greatest fountain in the world. Just look at it. Amazing. So the 
follow local tradition at the Trevi Fountain. You need three coins, which I've got in my hand. You need to throw them with your right hand over your left shoulder. One coin to come back to Rome, one coin for love, and one coin to get married. So here we go, right arm over the left shoulder. Here we go, three, two, one. It's always good to follow local traditions. <laughs> Beautiful. These are the Imperial Forums in Rome. But yeah, spectacular landmarks of Rome. Forum di Augusto. These are the famous Spanish steps. They were opened in 1725 and there's 135 steps. And the reason why they're called the Spanish steps is because they connect the church, Trinity del Monte, with the uh, Spanish embassy at the bottom. But yeah, it's a world famous landmark here in Rome. So that's it, that's some of Rome's famous landmarks, views and attractions. And all that's left to say is, Grazie Roma. What an amazing trip. I hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, thanks for watching.